Testing, one, two, one, two. It's been a long day, and you just want to go away. You can't sleep at night, and now I'm here. I can't promise tomorrow, but you're going to fall out of day. We can tingle it away. Now I'm here. Please have the spicy um, flounder fish sandwich. Did the combo come with a drink? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let me just do the the sandwich and the fry. No drink. Hey, spirit lights. Hey, y'all. I'm feeling better today. I'm in better spirits today than I was yesterday. I got this message. I uh, went to go check on the comments for the mac and cheese. Popeye's mac and cheese. Yeah, yeah, I was I was shocked. I was shocked that that mac and cheese had so much cheese in it like that. Oh my God, that's a lot of freaking cheese. What the freak? I got a comment from Doris Day. She said, hi, Chu. I've been away in the hospital for maybe eight weeks and I it drove me crazy not being able to watch your videos I know I have a lot to catch up on mm-hmm how are you girl I'm, I'm okay I'm, I'm I'm glad you okay I know you're okay because you're writing me this message God bless your heart and I hope you have a fast recovery I always got the french fries but now I get Popeye's mac and cheese which is actually pretty good I really enjoy your videos too especially your stories I just want to say you're actually therapy and you make me feel special at times listening to you you make me feel I met a new girlfriend love you and God bless you oh my god is that not so freaking sweet that is so freaking sweet thank you Doris <laughs> when I talk to y'all I'm talking to y'all basically as if I was on the phone with you oh my god like my life <laughs> Oh my God, that sounds so bad. Like I'm literally on the phone with y'all, but that's how I feel most of the time. I feel like y'all are sisters, brothers, family, friends, you know? Yeah, I, I really appreciate, I really appreciate your comment. And I'm I'm glad that you are feeling better, that you're able to watch some of the videos. And I hope you be out of the hospital soon. Just wanted to read that to y'all because I, I just happened to catch it. It's like 67 comments. So I'm like, oh my God, y'all really liked it, the mac and cheese. Jeez, I know that's right. That made me feel good. Out today. I've been out. Oh my God, y'all. I started out. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. I started out 6 6.08 in the morning. I think it's 6.08 or 6.03. I started out really early in the morning. And I made it about, I was about three minutes. I was about three minutes late this morning to where I had to go. But... I got there and it's so weird normally I leave a little earlier than that and sometimes I make it even later than that I don't know what it was today but if the traffic was definitely heck of crazy and the traffic was moving fast but for some reason nothing got in my way and I was able to get there and not feel bad that I'm so so freaking late but the problem is I'm tired now it's uh, one o'clock we went home I had breakfast this morning I tried the Jack in the Box hash browns. They were good. Yeah, they was actually really good. They was really, really good. If y'all like McDonald's hash browns, try Jack in the Box hash browns. Y'all gonna really like them. They are really, really good. I had some leftover pizza. I had got the like the last two slices, and y'all know like after a while, like pizza is leftover. Next day and after that next day it's trash basically you know it's it's like i don't think you can eat pizza like two days i don't eat no two-day pizza it was making its way to here <laughs> when we got the pizza we had eight where we were at and then we got home we did some other stuff and i forgot all about the pizza and by, by nightfall i was no more good child I was it was time to go to bed but yeah i'm in better spirits today today i brought my brought my sketchbook with Oh, all my pencils falling out, y'all. All of them. That was my eraser. This is what I'm working on right now. That's just a sneak peek. 
It's a sneak peek. I'm still working on it. I'm getting ready to um, start over on another page. Like, I'm working on it and I'm starting over. So, because I'm trying to, like, achieve, I don't know, just get better at trying to draw the same picture. That's what I'm trying to do. Draw the same picture. So, I was thinking about doing that because Nadine's getting her teeth cleaning today. And I figured I'd go ahead and sketch for a little while. I'm not really, like, in this mood to really talk about anything i think i'm tired at least i'm not hungry i don't have anything to snack on i had two bananas today y'all first thing this morning and right before we left i had another banana and i feel quite satisfying that i don't even want anything to drink or nothing to eat i just want to kind of relax my mind and just get myself together and i think figure if i sketch a little bit it might make me feel good put me in a better mood <laughs> Yeah, I love this little sketchbook. I try to dates in here whenever I finish something. Yes, but I didn't put the date in here in this one, so I better do that now. I don't even... But the good part is that this is not numbered. The way that the book is made, it's not numbered, so you can fill in the date if you forget. I love this sketchbook. Well, actually, it's a journal. And buy it, try it, make it, sell it, gave me this journal. I love this journal. I gotta figure out, I gotta look on the calendar to find out what, what day was the 8th on. Day was February 8th. Hmm, interesting. That's when I did this one. That was the last time I've been in this journal. And it is now March. Child, I think it's March 9th. Is it March 9th already? Time is flying, isn't it? It's March 9th already. Hmm. Let me go ahead and mark that date down because knowing me, I'll start sketching in it and then I'll forget all about it. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to sketch on this side because this side folds better and I'll write my notes on that side. It's such a beautiful day today. The sun was out first thing this morning. I was able to put my shades on and enjoy my ride. It wasn't out when I uh, first started out. It was pretty gloomy and looked like it was gonna rain. It was chilly. This afternoon, the sun came out. It was pretty nice. So I'm just gonna put right here a sunny day. Just to, I always like to mark sometimes what type of day it was. And then I'm gonna make a little sun right here. <laughs> I love journals and sketchbooks. I really do. But yeah, I'm going to do that for a little while. I may come back and talk to y'all. But I feel like I need to do that to relax my mind, to get some clarity. And just, I just got so much stuff going through my mind, y'all. So much. When I'm tired, like sleepy, I feel, oh. But it doesn't make y'all sleepy. <laughs> so I'll be back. Uh, you know what, y'all? I might pick up my pencils right now, then I might put them down and end up going to sleep. But actually, no, I'm going to go ahead and start journaling because um, I'm going to start sketching. I really want to see what I can do without looking at the last picture that I just um, drew and see if um, I could draw the picture again and make it even better. Because that's my goal is to get better at what um, I create or whatever I'm drawing. It's not easy to draw. I'm learning that really to draw like a, a portrait or to draw like a, a lifelike face. It's not, it's not easy, y'all. Oh my God, it's not easy. I'm going to do that. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to practice on maybe parts of the face. I think I'll do that. I'll be back. Okay, Spitter Lights, it's about time to go. Nadine's almost done. She wrote me and just told me she just feels so good about everything. I'm so happy that Nadine was able to find her like the, like she has a really great dentist. And I'm happy that she's happy with whatever she's getting done. Her When she get her cleaning done and whatever she got to get done, she always seemed to give positive the relays back to me and i'm just like wow see that's what i gotta find i, I don't know when that's gonna happen for me because even when i went to go see my dentist and the one that i chose to just do the temporary teeth for here and the temporary for this implant this one right here because it's in the wrong place i just uh, you know what i don't even want to talk about it i just was a little disappointed in things but i still like the dentist i like what she's trying to do but i just feel some type of way about everything uh, i did i think it's just the overall of everything that i've been through i've been sitting here i didn't go back into drawing this picture here um the first one that i showed y'all um i decided that i'm going to kind of like do some touch-ups and and mess with that when I get a chance, but this is what I did here. I did this one here. It's just the lips, a um, few teeth and the nose and everything. I know the lips are really big. I think I see my lips bigger than what they really are. I did this one right here, just practicing on the eye. 
So, okay, y'all. So Nadine is out, so I gotta go, and I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. The sun is leaving. It's going down, and we're nowhere near home. Nadine went into Dollar General. We gotta get a cooler. Yeah, so she's gonna try to see if she can find a styrofoam, a styrofoam one. And we don't know if we're going to get crabs or not, but we don't want to pay for no $8, $8, $10 for no freaking small cooler, styrofoam cooler. And then we got a couple of those at home. We completely forgot about uh, bringing the cooler this morning. We have a regular cooler and a styrofoam. A seafood place, they want a whole bunch of money for it. So, and here, it's probably only a few dollars. So she went to Dollar General to pick up some. And I told her to see if they got my ruffle jalapenos. That's my, one of my favorite chips. I haven't had it in a minute. So I hope she get those. That way, um, um, I can have them for next week when I do the word search. I'm so ready to get in this traffic, y'all, but it's going to be a while. We got to hurry up and get to where we're going, and then we got to try to make it back home. It's going to be so dark when we get home. We didn't get anything done today, but that, that's how it be sometimes. Sometimes things go the way you want it to go. I'm happy that tomorrow is going to be Thursday, and then we got Friday so hey yeah the weekend's gonna be here we get to just i don't know about relax a, a lot but i'm gonna relax a little bit i'm gonna try to read a little bit this weekend i wash my clothes first thing before i left this morning i went ahead and washed my clothes i just gotta throw them in the dryer when i get home oh my god my kitchen is a freaking nightmare i thought that was nadine i was gonna say okay they don't have it because she came out too fast Oh my God, her twins are the cutest little twins. Oh my God, they so freaking cute. Look like a, a Caucasian woman. She got, I would say mixed children, more on the black side to me because although they are light-skinned, they don't look Caucasian or mixed. They just look light-skinned, like my sister. Like my sister, I have a, a very lighted skin sister but she still look black, you know, she look like a black woman. So they look black, they so, Oh my God, they so freaking cute. She got them dressed up so cute. They got the two ponytails up in the hair. With the, and the hair is very ethnic. And they got two little balls right here. They look so freaking cute. And she got the little um, barrettes right here. She, oh my God, I just love little kids. Oh my God, they look so freaking cute. I'm not going to start people watching. I'm going to prepare myself to hurry up and get down here. And hopefully they got my class. I might tell Nadine. She might have to call. You know what? That's what we should have did before we stopped to get this. You know what? Y'all, let me go. Let me text Nadine and ask her, do she want to call them first? Because I hate for us to take that trip. And then they tell me they ain't got no blue crabs, girl. I don't want no snow crabs. I am snow crab out. I, I, I don't want no snow crab. I'm from the north, the east coast, and I like blue crabs. Everybody down here love crawfish or snow crabs. I right, child, let me get some blue crabs, some good juicy ones with some butter and hemp seed oil. I'm good. So let me text Nadine. I finally made it home. I'm tired. It's late. I made us some crab meat, chunks of crab meat, and some red rice. Now, unfortunately, nobody had blue crabs yet, and the snow crabs are running really, really high. 
So I just got chunks of crab meat. I made us a nice little um, earthy, savory sauce to it and some red rice. It's really good. I'm going to enjoy this and I will see y'all. Mm. 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 Shoot, it's hot. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. It's so delicious. I'm going to turn the light on. No, I already done unplugged the light, y'all. I think I did. I unplugged it. I was going to show y'all. But, yeah, it's really good. Have a good night. Mm. They got AC. Have a wonderful night, y'all. See y'all next video. Hi, Spirit of Lights. So, today I made chili. Well, I'm still cooking it. These are my chili beans. I put them on yesterday night last night yeah last night i put more last night and i added all my seasonings and stuff like that i added organic chili powder minced garlic white pepper italian seasoning and himalaya salt and i let it cook down with some avocado oil i'm gonna add like a half a stick of butter to it and i got some onions and peppers in there and then this is the uh, beef list ground that we picked up from Trader Joe's. I'm going to cut up this pepper and put it in a frying pan. And once I finish cooking it, I'm going to put it inside the chili beans. And that's what I'm having for lunch today. Okay, so I'm about to relax. About to edit y'all video for the weekend, which is the chili I just got to eating. Nadine made me some apple juice. Mm, she made a whole pitcher. She poured me a nice glass. Mm, and I tell y'all, it's so freaking delicious. Mm, it's good. Fresh apple juice. Mm. I can never be so lucky. It's nice and hot.
so delicious. It's um uh, spicy too. I do have like uh, some peppers in there. Eight ounce field of lights. I'm about to edit a video for y'all. Let me turn my salmon around. That's the back side of it. <laughs> I don't put it in the fryer. I made me some grits and cheese. Some sunny side up. Mmm. I'm going to eat this while I edit a video for y'all. But I'm going to make sure y'all got a Saturday video. Hey, spare the lights. Ooh, happy Saturday night. <laughs> I wish I could say happy Saturday, y'all. But my Saturday has already gone and passed. I was trying to work on the vlog, y'all. I was trying, but then I start feeling really, really cozy and really, really relaxed. Um, I need to plug this in for a second. You charging your phone, lady? Yeah. Will it go in there? Oh, just for a second. I'm just going to use this light. It's only going to be a second because as soon as the oil come up, I'm out of here. Me and Nadine got into watching this show. It's called... Yeah, it's, it's, to, oh, it's halfway up. That's good. That's fast that ever moved. I'm glad because I thought it was real cold out here that... Oh, my God. That thing literally lit up. <laughs> Boy, if you needed light and to find your way, you found it today. Oh, my God. That thing lit it up. That is the bomb. One of my spirit lights sent that to me. Her and her daughter, I'll never forget. <laughs> Child. Oh, my God. I think she sent it to me. Her daughter sent me... Um, I think the trident gum or something like that. It's been so long ago. But yeah, we watching the real dirty dancing. Yeah, girl, I was about to forget. Like, how can I forget that? The real dirty y'all remember dirty dancing with Patchy Swayze. <laughs> and baby, oh my god. I heard a few of the stars that was up there saying that they watched it like five times or over. Child, I think God outbeat all of them. I freaking love that show. I'm going to watch it again. Probably starting tonight with Nadine because Nadine haven't seen it, y'all. Nadine have not seen Dirty Dancing, okay? But, y'all, let's talk about this show. I'm going to tell you first, first, before I go on to this show real quick, let's see where I'm at. Um, okay, I got one more notch. Okay. I was watching Match a Millionaire, y'all. Okay, I could not wait. I told you I could not wait for Carolina to be faced with the fact that Kirk is not rich, okay? In the end, it was between her and Amanda. And with Steven, it was between Annie and Calla. Child, Nadine was sure he was going to pick, Kurt was going to pick Caroline, and she was sure Stephen was going to pick Annie. I told her last week who was going to be the ones that's going to be matched up with these men. Did I not tell you, no, Nadine? I wanted Amanda. You wanted Amanda? But did you not say Kurt was going to pick Caroline? Did you not say, didn't you not say yeah, we was going to be mad at him? was going to be dumb and pick Caroline. See, okay. Okay, she said that. Okay. I said, no, he not. I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all what a man think about his wife. He could go beyond the penis. He could go beyond that, okay? <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to yeah. pick her. I knew it. And Amanda is beautiful. She she already got her own money, so she came into it falling for Kurt. With, the money was not the subject for her. She didn't care if he had money or not. She had, That's how it is when people got their own stuff down. They, you, you know, they take that out the equation. There's room for more genuine stuff. And then with Steven and, and Annie, Annie's cute. And she's 25. And she looked like the more real deal for Steven. But I told Nadine, they, they look too much alike. They kids, all their kids are going to look like super duper twins, okay? Oh, man, it's dark outside, y'all. It's dark outside. Oh, I'm going to keep this light, and I'm going to plug it back up wherever I get if it's too dark. I'm going to get ready to go. Oh, wow, we got new neighbors. Shoot. We're on our way to Arby's. I might talk to y'all while I'm driving. Depends on how the traffic is out there. And finish this conversation. We're going to get us a snack. I really want me a seafood boil. That's what I really want me. But I'm going to go get me a, maybe an apple pie from Arby's. Because I do like the apple pie. I either might get an apple pie for y'all. And maybe get me a cookie. I don't know yet. I'll, I'll see when I get up there. But that's where we're on our way to get our snack. Before we go on to the next episode. Real dirty dancing we want episode three y'all and we gotta talk about it before we get back here and watch it but i'll talk to y'all a little bit okay y'all so i'm waiting on uh my mozzarella sticks and the cookies so 
where I left off at was Stephen was going to pick between Annie and Kyla. He picked Kyla. I felt like Annie was cute. She was 25. But I felt like they, the kids was going to look too much alike. That's just my opinion. I just felt like they look, already looked so much alike. But I felt like Kyla was more... I could feel that he, he had some type of real spark when it came to Kyla. She was very much more reserved and quiet. Like Nathan said, the quiet girl got the man. Like she was quiet through the whole thing. He Like he said, he didn't really get enough time to really get to know her as much as he knew the other girls, but it was something about her. And I told Nadine, he's a cowboy. She's a cowgirl. Like him going back and forth to New York to see uh, Annie and her friends and she trying to fit into the cowboy life too much and I felt like he thought about that and him and Kyla were very similar in a lot of things so I was just like yeah he's definitely gonna pick her with Kirk he said to, to Caroline he felt like they had a fire but it was gonna eventually burn out and that's exactly what I said I felt like she she didn't really care nothing about Kirk I felt that way thank you I could have smelled it. They didn't ask me that I want sauce three times. I ain't want no marinara sauce. I just wanted the, um, the, the cheese sticks. Oh, uh, or, yeah, mozzarella sticks. Okay, yeah, so I'm on my way to, let's see, to Pot Bellies right now. When I get there, I'll finish talking because I got to pay attention to these parking lots, y'all. People crazy and the, the roads, people driving up on you all. Okay, I got a few minutes before she bring it out, y'all. I had to buy some water. The freaking water, their Pure Life cost. The sandwich came to $7, maybe some change. And then it came to $10, 7 8 9 10 some change. $3 for a child. I'm so thirsty, but I, I need to make sure I grab me a water when I leave the house. Wow, the water's actually good. It got like a clean, um, crisp feel to it. It's actually really good. Hmm, interesting. But, oh, that water nice and cold. Oof, you get brain freeze trying to drink that water. That water is good. Where was I at? Let's end the match a millionaire. Um, so far, he picked. Kirk pick Amanda and Stephen pick Kala, which was perfect. He, both my girls won. I'm happy for both of them. I'm happy about it. I feel like they both beautiful girls. Um, I felt like they both was there for the right reasons and really trying to go through the process. And it took Kala a little bit longer, but she knew who she wanted. She fell for Steven, and she just wasn't in love with him like the second time she saw him. Like Caroline was with Kurt. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's not for us. Right after that show went off, another show came on that we weren't even paying a mind to, but we was just talking about the show. And the show was The Real Dirty Dancing. Y'all. <laughs> okay, when that show came on, we wasn't going to watch it. Cause it was like, what's this? We don't, I don't watch stuff when it's like a whole bunch of stars. In one place I don't I don't for some reason I don't like shows like that when there's like a whole bunch of stars in one place game shows or stuff like that I'm not into stuff like that and when they start talking about the dirty dancing movie and started showing clips and the intro was cute okay okay we see where this going here these stars up together let me see if I can remember all the stars they had one guy from Backstreet from the Backstreet Boys yes yeah, somebody who was a dancer who was a guy who was a dancer they had a girl who was a wrestler right her and her sister they had um uh cat from iron uh iron chef they had lonnie and i think i think i saw lonnie from like i thought was she a talk show host at one point in life anyway she's like a comedian then they had tyler he was from the bachelor i think he ran sec second running up or something like that in the bachelor oh they had this uh, athlete guy uh, black guy. I can't remember who he was at, at this time. I can't remember right now. They had somebody else. Oh my god. Start with a C. Oh, I can't remember right now. Corbett. 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 Was Corbett Corbett wasn't a dancer, was he? Mm -hmm. He was? Okay. I can't tell y'all everybody who everybody was. But y'all, the first show was so freaking funny. I was pleasantly surprised by Lonnie. I felt like she carried the first show. Like, all the women gave what they could 
But I felt like Lonnie, she brought in, even though she's a comedian, she brought in the sexiness, the confident child. I, we, she had me hollering, do you hear me? I was rooting for her. Her and Taylor, Tyler together. And y'all, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me tell y'all, when he came up to Lonnie and he was doing all like this and looking like Patrick Swayze, we was hollering. Girl, he got on that floor and he started swinging up towards Lonnie leg. Child, we were hollering, do you hear me? We was just like pleasantly surprised. We we knew that they was going to do that. They was going to do that. They did that. Do they? Do you hear me? They did that. I think Kat from the Iron Chef, a gay woman, she has a wife and she has uh, six boys. So she was dancing with, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Pleasantly surprised by her because she came in kind of like, <laughs> she was kind of like, I don't know, she, she was trying, she was struggling bringing out that sexiness, okay? But it was at one point where all of them, they end up picking Tyler out of all the men to be the one to be um, Patrick, you know, as far as like the guy. And, and then they had to pick a woman to be the baby. So all the women had to come to this room, like his room, and they had to be like, choose me as the baby. And they was dancing and everything, child. We were hollering. They they gave it they all. They gave it they all. So it was her. She was matched. She wasn't matched with Tyler. Tyler because Tyler ended up picking Angela. Is it Angie or Angela? That's who I'm missing. Who I was telling you about. This is a Spanish woman. Angela. Angela. He picked her to be his baby, and I like her. She's married. And she can dance and she got she got her sexiness. She got her stuff with her. Okay. And then with Kat, she ended up picking um Court. Whatever Court what's his name? I can't get his name right. It's with a C. Thank you. There you go. Have a good day. Okay, y'all. Cause I'm definitely holding up the line. They have they had me move up, but the other person moved up too. Yeah, I wasn't going to go and, and park in the front, you know, and nothing like that. Okay, y'all, let me head on home. I'll talk to y'all about it another time. But let me tell y'all this real quick before I let me drink my water. Yeah, we watched the second show, uh, the second episode. It turned out to be really, really good. I felt like out of all the women, Lonnie was it. She had the sexiness going on, and I feel like the guy that peered her up the second time, she lost Tyler, because she was with Tyler, and she lost him, and they they peered her up with um, the guy from Backstreet Boys, and I felt like he was uncomfortable with being with a bigger sized woman, and he didn't know how to really like bring it. Like she, like he, 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 he showed like he was uncomfortable, but she had it. She had it. Like I feel like if he would have, like at the end, he had to grab her butt or whatever and dance and everything. He grabbed her butt like it was a like a soft pillow. He should have like brought let that Spanish or something come up out of him like, and grabbed her butt and really danced. And I'm telling you, they would have won. But he couldn't bring it out. He did. He was so uncomfortable, he messed it up. And Lonnie had to go home with him. Like, they had to go home. Now I'm upset. Because now I got to go back. I got to watch the third episode. And I don't know if I'm going to like it without Lonnie being there. Like, she she did it. She was it for me. It was because of her that I really enjoyed the show. She, I, y'all, she made me laugh and cry on just the two episodes that she was on. She did it for me. I liked her a lot. Mm. This water is so good. Hey, that was the best water. <laughs> Maybe because I had to pay so much for it, y'all. Okay, I'll talk to y'all probably tomorrow. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all again soon. Tomorrow. Are you gonna fill out a day? We can tingle.